I'm having one of those moments. I'm having one of those moments. Before we start this video, let's do a little summary slash update. Life has been a mess, a mess. Um, I recently got surgery on my foot to take out the metal plate. If you guys don't know, last year I broke my foot. Oh my god. So yeah, I was recovering from that. It's been really hard. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it's been really hard to try to come up with video ideas. Um, if you guys don't know, I recently moved as well. I've been living here for about two months now, and I love it here. I'm trying to adjust creatively wise. And it's been a it's been a hassle. So I'm gonna get there, I promise. So today I figured why not do some things to help me become better creative. Why am I so illiterate when I speak? I hate it here. It's been a really long time since I've like actually 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 dressed up. So I figured why not get ready? Why not give myself a haircut? I wanna give myself a self tan thing. I got this tan stuff, it's called tan AF by b.tan it's not sponsored but if it looks good on me try it out and we're gonna try this and we are going to cut my hair and pick out an outfit so a lot of you guys always ask me for a tutorial on how to cut my hair and i'm gonna be honest with y'all i don't even know i kind of just use physics is that a word is that the thing to use so pretty much I'm an artist. I like to draw, I like to color, I like to paint, and I like to create content that nobody likes to watch. I'm joking, I swear. Pretty much to cut your hair is, the rule is, you're gonna fuck up if you do it by yourself. It's just natural because you can't really see the back of your head, and when you look in the mirror, it's kind of like, like, it, it's a mess. So, the key is blending and fading. So if you can properly blend and fade your hair, then it's less noticeable and less likely to look a hot mess. I'm gonna speed this up because I don't wanna waste y'all time. We only here for a little bit of time. Pretty soon you're gonna click off the video, so I might as well speed it up so we can get to the next part. Okay. All right, so pretty much after I finish kind of cutting it, I get this mirror and I look at it in the mirror. So. The sides look pretty good, I think. Let me see. It looks pretty good overall. There's one spot in the back, like right here, that I'm gonna fix only because it's gonna bother me. This is pretty much how I'm gonna keep my hair. I'm gonna do this stuff off camera. All right, so here's the final results. Bam. 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 What do y'all think? Comment down below. I have to get some gloves because I've done this once before and I bite my fingernails and I don't want it in my fingernails. You know what they say about big hands? Can't get it in the goddamn gloves. So I specifically went to Dollar Tree to get this brush because I saw some girl use it, do it on her face to make it more even. And we need that. My SD card has been acting up today. Definitely is registering really bad on camera. But I promise you once it's rinsed off, it is not as bad as it looks. So for this type of self-tanner, you leave it on for an hour. In the video, she used it for 16 hours, but I'm already tan. I'm just more so using this because my face is a little bit more pale than my body. Don't ask me how. I really missed you guys, yo. Like, seriously. It's been so long since I've, like, fully made a video. And I want to, like, be a little bit more open and talk to you guys you know so uh, I mentioned before that I'm in a relationship a lot of you guys kept asking me who I'm in a relationship with if it's a boy or a girl and I will tell you I'm in a relationship with a guy that's kind of not weird to say on camera but definitely a little out of my comfort zone if it makes sense because I don't really talk about my relationship I still want to keep it private Y'all are not gonna know who I date because I don't feel comfortable doing that. Maybe in the future, we shall see baby steps. Baby steps, y'all, baby steps. I'm really trying to get my dark circles. I have really bad dark circles. And in the summertime when I actually get tan, my dark circles go away and I need that. Like I was saying, yeah, we've been together for a while now. 
and I'm happy. So leave me the hell alone. Period. Let's talk about, ooh, we can talk about this. So I will say when I first met the person I'm with, I was scared because I have a kid and I just don't, it's kind of hard to explain that to somebody. Not in really in the sense of it being embarrassing or something, but it definitely was a little intimidating because so, I wasn't expecting to like date or like I just wanted to make friends you know I don't really have a lot of guy friends and I was like oh like we can relate and we would be like really good friends like I was not expecting to like get into a relationship or build a relationship in that sense I just wanted to be friends so I didn't really talk to him about my personal life when we first met like we just like had normal conversations and then he kind of already knew I had a kid because of Instagram and <coughs> I was just like, surprise! No, it was a little easier that I didn't have to tell him, but it was kind of like, yeah, I'm just gonna go into this expecting a friendship. I don't want nothing else because I don't know how you feel about kids and I don't feel comfortable with you being around my son anytime soon just because I'm not somebody that brings random people into my son's life. I feel that's something that you have to earn and for you to be around my son you're gonna have to be somebody that's gonna be in my life for at least a while and I waited a while to like ever be like this is my son I'm happy and it's nobody's business about anything else that I don't feel like I need to share you know because it's hard I know people are probably gonna ask how is it like being a co-parenting and being in a relationship with a guy. A mess, I will say it's a mess. So I'm gonna finish the rest off camera and I will see you guys when this is doing its thing. So I just washed out the tanner and I showered and this is how I look. So I will say one thing about this tanner. It's a little weird for me. I don't know why, but I look like pretty much the same, but like tomorrow I'll look a little bit darker. Don't ask me why, maybe in a few hours I'll look a little bit darker. I will give you guys an update on how it looks. All right, so this is how it turned out. It definitely looked more tan. What do we do next? What is this video about? I really forgot, to be honest. Um, oh yeah, we're reviving my creativity. So I felt a little bit good. Like, I love my haircut. It came out really good. What do y'all think? I like my little tanning, my tan, my tan. You remember the thing, bang, bang, not the bang. The what? Anyways, let's go look for something to wear. We're gonna try to wear something that is out of my comfort zone. I don't really have that, but maybe we'll find something. Love y'all. We came to real, really close today. Love y'all. We're like family. Don't be telling my business. Alright, let's go. No comparing, and this motherfucking scary. Alright, so I picked out some outfits. Um, We'll try them on. So, ready? So I thought this would be a possibility, but I don't like this at all. Even like tucked in, tucked out. It's really not feeding the girls. Clap if you care. So in the process of trying to put on a different outfit, I kind of like this. Like it goes really well together. See, like, look at this. What y'all think? All right, so I picked out this outfit. Um, I have this itchy ass sweater. I like it. I never really wore it. Supposed to be for a photo. Let a whole know. I ain't motherfucking shabby. So this is the outfit I decided to choose. I ended up changing again. I got this sweater vest that I cropped. And then I got these brown jeans. I'm not gonna lie, cutting my hair, getting this wannabe tan, getting dressed up has made me feel a lot better. It's kind of cool. Also, I put this earring in. I'm gonna take it out because I don't like it, but I might as well show you now. Pretty much what we're gonna use is frozen strawberries that I'm gonna warm up a little bit just so the juice can get in it. Some frozen raspberries and frozen bananas. Oh, also Greek yogurt and almond milk. Actually, Greek yogurt and coconut milk. Let's talk about plans for life. So you guys know I have a website, shophectorlopez.com. I haven't updated it in a few months, possibly before I moved. That's when I pretty much launched, launched it. Life has just been very difficult, I'm telling you. It's been a mess. But I wanna keep creating content. 
for you guys. So I have a few skits I've been working on. I got a passion for acting. I act like I love my job every day. Life has just been wild. Like, oh, can this pandemic be over already? Ugh. But yeah, I'm just over for this. I'm over this pandemic. This panini, this pan demonium. Like, I just want to be able to go to the gym without a mask on and be able to see people regular, regular, regularly, regular, regularly, regularly. What's the word? Regularly. Regularly. I just want to see people daily. But you can't do that because of the pandemic. Girl! Thank you. Let a whole know I ain't motherfucking shabby. No final fantasy, can we end these games though? I hope y'all got to understand a little bit more of where I'm at. Ugh, it sucks. Creator's block is like. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also, this is my kitchen slash dining room. Island table, countertop, whatever. This is the kitchen table. This is a thing with a thing. And that's a thing. And that's the patio. We love a house tour. Thank you for showing love and support. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram. And um, I will see you guys real soon. I promise. I promise this time. I promise. Comment down below some video ideas. Alright. Gotta go. Love you. Bye. Did I just do this again? Oh no. We're not doing that no more. That was the thing I said I was gonna stop. We're leaving that in 2020. <sighs> Bye guys. Love you.